life is not possible without oxygen. And everything that lives, uses it. This means that without any intervention, the amount of oxygen will become insufficient causing death. Nature has solved this dilemma, and it is called, the photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis is a process used by plants and other organisms to convert light energy into chemical energy that, through cellular respiration, can later be released to fuel the organism's activities. To perform photosynthesis, plants need three things. Carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight. Plants and trees need the photosynthesis process. They use energy from the sun and carbon dioxide from the air or water to make the food they need to live and grow. By storing carbon above and below the ground, the trees and plants in forests contribute to the production of oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis. In indoor conditions this process depends on the availability of a light source. This is where the importance of the lighting comes into play. Water plants have the ability to absorb carbon dioxide, CO2, and convert it into oxygen, O2, when enough light is available. This process works quite effectively and helps you to maintain a healthy level of dissolved oxygen in your tank or pond. Plants take CO2 from the surrounding water and possible substrate. Algae are plants too, and we normally do not like them as they clog our water or tank. But from an oxygen perspective they can be very helpful and we should cherish them in certain conditions. Okay that is awesome. But Professor Pond, what happens when there is not enough light available? Good question. We can take a look at that now. At night, when no more light is available, the work process of photosynthesis is halted and the opposite would occur. Plants will breathe by taking oxygen and release carbon dioxide as exhaust substances. This process is called respiration. Healthy plants in the daytime can produce more oxygen than those required by the plant itself and the fish at night. So, nothing to worry there under normal circumstances. Be aware though that for ponds the moment just before daylight can be critical, as the level of oxygen will be the lowest. When you have insufficient plants, photosynthesis will not help you. To reach and keep proper oxygen levels additional oxygen must be added to the water. The easiest way to accomplish this is to get water into movement, and bring it into contact with air. This process is called aeration. When water is in movement and brought in contact with air, oxygenation occurs. Oxygen is important to ensure a healthy environment for your fish stock, to improve grow out and to provide a better feed conversion ratio. It is practically impossible to over-aerate your pond, as there is a maximum of oxygen water can held at certain water temperatures. However, too much aeration can cause carbon dioxide to be gassed out of the pond causing severe pH fluctuations. This is an unwanted situation and must be prevented. In this video we have seen that the photosynthesis process is a foundation for life for plants as it provides energy for growth. The release of oxygen to the water is a very convenient side effect. Converting carbon dioxide to oxygen is fundamental for a healthy environment, and we must cherish this process. We have formulated a few takeaways for you that will help you in keeping your water healthy. Keep these in mind. Thank you for your attention, we hope you have learned something. We are planning more videos on water quality and keeping fish in general, so please be so kind to subscribe to the channel and like the videos. This way you help me to keep the channel going and bringing you more knowledge. Professor Pond thanks you for your attention and keep enjoying your hobby.